fiance game between the Armstrong Falcons and the Maple Grove Crimson. We're playing out here tonight with a chance to go to state. Armstrong, it's a terrific season, seven and two, <laughs> one of their best years in uh, football for a number of years. They're excited to be in this game, the underdog against Maple Grove. Who would have thunk it? Right? Who would have thunk it? But we're here, and you got the opportunity, and the good thing about it is, you can do it. Well, I think they'll be the underdog just because of recent history, not because they're not a good enough team. They don't respect us. Let's go. Call your butt on three. One, two, three. Call the ride. The other good thing is every one of you guys know it. I can see it in your eyes. I've coached teams before that, well, I think we can do it, but this team's pretty good. I don't see any of that here. This group's walking around a little high like this, like, dang right we can do it. So now we're getting it done. We've got two great teams, and really this one could go either way. Before the game, I talked to Coach Lombardi, who said that physically Armstrong is as good as any team they've seen so far this year. You guys have made me proud, yourself proud, your school, community, everything. I love everything about this season. It's a blast. Let's not let it end tonight. You guys know you can do it, now let's go do it. Get up here. Let's go! Sugarcoating it. Last fall was a tough one for the Falcons, who went 0 and 9, gave up at least 31 points in every game, and had just one relatively close game. The Armstrong football team has some experience back from a team that showed signs of improvement last fall. I think we can do big things this year. I don't know, man. It's just, it's different. It's a different vibe, so. We're a lot more experienced than last year. We're ready to go, we're focused. We have some great kids. They work hard, great attitudes. And uh, we're playing much more than a football game. You know, this is life, and uh, everybody has each other's back. You don't get treated very right from a different school, so we gotta grind a lot harder. We gotta prove ourselves. We're sending like seven guys all the time. We're blitzing 24-7. Our mindset is if they don't score, they don't win. Secure the tackle, punching the ball out physical, or ripping it out to be physical. Secure the tackle, whip it out, whip it out. And they understand football. They're a good group of kids that understand football. And their work ethic, their, their, their humbleness, their desire to play hard, do things right. This football team can bring out a lot of wins if we come and show up every, every game day. Everyone's bought in. I know that this program hasn't been you know, up to par lately, but I think now, I think we, we're really turning the corner. Leadership on this team is, is really good. Be ready for excitement. There's going to be a lot of W's on that record book. I believe we'll have success on both offense and defense, so it's going to be fun to see. At the beginning of the season, we talked about it, you know, this is going to be the year. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the year that everybody's going to remember. You guys are ready. Trust me, you're ready. Do what you're supposed to do, and we're gonna whoop some of that chain ass. Here we go. Let's go! team that will surprise a lot of people this year, I believe, is Amadou Dunbar. Wow. 
fire night. Oh my god, True Thompson. People know about him, but I don't think they really key on him as much. And I think that's a he's a real sleeper this year. I'm like Calvin Johnson. I think what makes our defense going to be tough this year is we're bringing a lot of pressure every play. We're aggressive. Okay. My game is most like Michael Vick, he's lefty quarterback, number seven, that's my favorite number. We got a long ways to go, but that's a good start. That's a butt chicken. Here we go. I think that starting 2 0 for the first time in a decade for Armstrong is a really good thing. I think it really unifies not only our team, but the fans, the community. Starting off 2-0 feels so good because if we haven't had this kind of feeling before. Starting out 2-0 is great. It brings great energy for our squad and for the fans that everyone comes out. 2-0, I don't think it means anything just yet. I think we need to keep on going as a team. We knew we could get here. We just had to work hard over these past four years starting as freshmen. Starting off the season 2-0 has been, it's been a good feeling and I'll be right back. Cooper. 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 Cooper and Cooper. Cooper is going to be tough. It is one of the more anticipated regular season football games for Cooper and Armstrong in quite some time. There's been so much talk between our, our team and Cooper in the last few years. It's going to be a lot of hype and excitement and emotions in that game. It's kind of bringing the two schools and high schools in Robbinsdale all together and like I said, letting the community see what kind of young men we have on these teams. We want to win so bad and they want to win so bad. That's like, that's like the rival of a lifetime. You're going to remember that for the rest of your life. We win that game, it's just like, I don't know, I'm remember it forever. A big rivalry that we've been waiting for for a very long time. The Robbins Hill District schools haven't played since 2010 and haven't met in the regular season since 2004. Just whoever wins this one is going to hold that trophy.
Just gonna take a knee, and we will tick down the final seconds of this game, and a nice victory here for the Cooper Hawks as they are gonna win it over Armstrong, 26 to six. We got out played, we got out physical, we got out tough, but you know what? It's week three. The season ain't over. They whooped the crap out of us tonight, and they deserve every bit of it. It's not the end of the season. It was a bad night, but are we going to learn from it and get better? Yeah. Or are we going to get worse? Go. We're going to get better. Right here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Five, five. Five. Keep your heads up. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Last week, you came out on fire. 
fun and loose and all that stuff. And this thing was done early. I love the enthusiasm. I love the fun. I love coming out of fire and feeling good and not feeling all stressed out. And that we got after it earlier. Now we just need to keep that pedal on, right? Good win. Here we go. Bring it up, Falcon Prize. One, two, three. Falcon Prize. Tonight, you did what we talked about. Come out, don't let them play with us, put it to them. See, when we play next week, it's 5 0. Right? And we've been in this spot a couple weeks ago, and we got a little tight. It's not going to happen this next week. Love you guys. Here we go. Falcon Pride. One, two, three. Falcon Pride.
Don't hang your heads. Right? Keep them up. Number one team at 5A. We came here, we got after them, and we had a few things go wrong at the end of the game. I got a couple guys telling me, sorry about that, coach. No sorries. This is our team. We make mistakes. I've made them. We're all busting our tails to try to do the best we can and win, and you guys are right there. Keep your chins up, walk high, and it's no one's fault. This is our whole group. We're all in this together. We don't point fingers. We played great. It just didn't work out at the end. You got me? Let's go. Let's go. Get it up in here. Most exciting part of the season was for me, probably Spring Lake Park. Even though we didn't exactly get the win, we really came together as a team and are really ready for the, the stretch after the regular season. Uh, the most exciting part of the season hasn't happened yet. I'll let you know later on in November when it does. We're trying to get this whole thing ready because we've got some big games coming up. Let's get it done in the second half and play this thing. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Felt the pride. One, two, three. Felt the pride. player that has really stepped up this year is uh, Evan McCollin. Last year he was, you know, not so good at running back, but this year he's really stepped it up and he's pretty great. contributed by a lot of them being at every game. Um, every home game, the student section is always full. And they never bring us down. The fans have contributed by just showing up to all the games. I mean, we look at away games, and we know some of them were kind of far away. And it's like, you look in the visiting section, and it's all, all Armstrong. The fans have contributed this year's success by coming to all our games. They show up in big crowds and really get loud. I like it. Oh, what has been the most exciting part of the season? Um, I'd have to say the rushing on the field after the, the homecoming win.
proud of everything you guys done. You guys have looked the last couple weeks at the people that are coming. Why are the students coming at Armstrong now? Because we're because we're good. You guys got proud. You guys are doing things right in the school, and you're putting on shows on the field. Last regular season games of your career. This is it. Get after it tonight and go into the playoffs strong. You got me. Let's go. Let's go. It's been a while here since it's six and two season, right? Woo! It's been a while since people are coming out all the time, and it's not just by chance. It's because you guys, I'm telling you over and over again, it's because you're doing the right things on the football field, and we're getting some wins, but that is not the only reason. The reason is because you're doing the right things at other people, other places, and, you, and the guys like you around school, and the gals kind of like you around school. I'm guessing after this, we'll be on our home field next week for yeah. playoffs. Yeah. And we're gonna get after you. Got me? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Fuck the pride. One, two, three. Fuck the pride. Fuck the pride. Mindset I have going into sections is to dominate every team. Doesn't matter who they are, whoever they put us against, we're gonna win. The mindset we need to have is that we can beat anyone. We don't need to be scared of a team's name or their history. That we can play with the the big names of these football teams. Class 6 day playoffs do get started on Friday night. Armstrong has had its best season in over a decade and the Falcons are hoping to carry that over into the playoffs. Armstrong went 6-2 and two in the regular season, their first winning season since 2004. And the two teams that beat them, Spring Lake Park and Cooper, are a combined 14-2. and two. It's been a fun season so far.
24 minutes. Right? 24 minutes. Make some plays. Defense, you guys are playing phenomenal. Get a few more stops. We're going to get that sucker in. 24 more minutes, and you know where we're going. Here we go. Let's go. for Armstrong. Collis Barber throwing down. Field it's intercepted by Isaac Collins. And that'll end it. Crimson win it. 21-18. What a terrific football game. Yeah, and certainly Armstrong's got to be really pleased at the fact that, you know, yeah, we lost the game, but my gosh, we played we played the entire 48 minutes of it. We didn't, we didn't go anywhere else, and I, I am very impressed with how far Armstrong's program has come in the last couple of years. If my sons ever end up to be a little bit of you guys, I'll be a very proud dad. Because you guys fight and you take coaching. I love you, man. Get a break. Tom. Big D on three. One, two, three. Big D. Your football stuff is done at Armstrong. You are not done being a Falcon. That's a life thing. As you head out to the U and other places where you guys go, come back, right? I want this group coming back. We finally got people here wanting to come back to Armstrong, and it's because of the stuff you guys do with the character and the class and the felt and pride stuff. Walk out of here with your heads up. This group is phenomenal. You guys have changed the culture of the football here, and more importantly, because you've changed the culture of our school, and you've made the community proud. So cry tonight, right? And that's okay, because we're invested in hurts. But you keep your heads up. What you guys have done is unbelievable. I love every one of you suckers. Bring it up in here. Here we go. Stop the time. One, two, three. Stop the This is the season of change. 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 
This is the season of change. This is the season of change. This is the season of change. This is the season of change. Love you guys, here we go. Falcon 5, 1, 2, 3, Falcon 5!